Well, one of you suggested that we have a spill the tea Wednesday or Thursday, so we are going to spill the tea right here. We're going to gossip a little bit about Romeo and Juliet because these two are cray cray, am I right? O-M-G. So, did you hear how Juliet found out that her husband killed her cousin? You did. Oh my gosh, it was just insane, right? Like so many mood swings. I heard she was like one second longing for night for Romeo to come and like she was just super excited. That's what I heard. And while she's like in the middle of like preparing for this, then the nurse shows up, right? And you know what the nurse says? You know what the nurse says? She doesn't talk about Tybalt at all. She just says, well a day, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. We are undone, lady, he's dead. Alack, the day he's gone, he's killed, he's dead. And she just like keeps going on and on like this. And she never once mentions Tybalt. And you know, Juliet. She's just been like freaking out about Romeo, right? And she just jumps straight to conclusions. Like the nurse should have said something about it being Tybalt being dead, but she doesn't. And of course, Juliet starts freaking out. Like she's crying, right? Um, like mascara running down her face. Like that girl should really invest in some waterproof mascara. <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> anyway. Juliet straight breaks and the nurse makes it even worse when she says, oh, Romeo, Romeo, whoever would have thought Romeo. Like, she doesn't even mention Tybalt at all. She totally makes it sound like it's Romeo that's dead. Like, can you blame Juliet for totally being a freak show right here? I mean, if she were minors, I would have fired her for the way she delivers the message. Like, anyhow, um, do you want to know how Juliet reacts? Well, I will tell you. She goes, oh, break my heart vile earth to earth resign and end motion here and thou and Romeo press one heavy beer can you even like she just freaks out and totally tells her nurse that if because Romeo is dead she may as well be dead too I mean it does totally fit with Julia and her character like remember what we heard at the party like Juliet meets Romeo makes out with him for like two minutes and one second later proclaims that if Romeo is married, her grave is like to be her wedding bed. I mean, melodramatic much? I guess we shouldn't be so surprised that she finally jumps to thoughts of killing herself so quickly. <sighs> anyway, I guess the nurse kept talking and finally mentions Tybalt and Juliet was all like, wait, what? <laughs> like she had no idea this whole time that it was Tybalt who was dead and not Romeo. I mean, once she figures that out, though, she's still pretty upset. I mean, who wouldn't be? Then you know what the nurse did? I could not believe it when I heard. Like, wow. I wouldn't have had the guts to say that to Juliet. <laughs> I mean, you can't just talk bad about someone's boyfriend or, I guess, husband like that. Anyway, she says that Romeo should be cursed for killing Tybalt. <laughs> Can you believe it? Like, I know, like, I'm allowed to complain about my mom, but as soon as you complain about my mom, I will throw down. While Juliet yells at the nurse and is like, blistered be thy tongue. Whew. I mean, I guess I have to give Juliet props and all, like, for all of her mental instability. Bless her heart. She is just totally loyal. Romeo is her man, and she will have none of that nonsense, right? Anyhow, she says it's bad enough that Tybalt is dead. And the nurse should not make it worse by blaming Romeo. The nurse, like, takes it all back and tells Juliet, like, go to your room. I'm going to go to Friar Lawrence's and make sure that Romeo's okay. I'm going to, like, solidify your plans. So she heads off to Friar Lawrence's. And you want to know who was there? <laughs> well, it is time for a refill of tea because I have got more to spill. Hmm. This is where we kind of see how maybe Romeo and Juliet are like made for each other because Juliet's not the only one who freaks out at bad news. Guess what? Romeo has been hiding at Friar Lawrence's cell and he's hoping to find out what the prince has sentenced him to. I mean, is he going to get sentenced to death? Hard labor? Who knows? So before the nurse shows up, I guess Friar Lawrence was telling, telling Romeo that the prince had banished him. And you want to know what Friar Lawrence, or rather, what do you want to know what Romeo does? <laughs> Romeo starts to freak out. Like, it's the same thing. He says, death would be better than banishment. If I can't be with Juliet, I would rather be dead. Um, 
ironic much, foreshadow much. Like, you better believe he is definitely foreshadowing his own reasons for killing himself. And isn't this just like Romeo's major freakout that she just had, where she was just freaking out about if she can't have Romeo, she should just be dead? Oh my goodness. Anyway, so Friar Lawrence, bless his heart, keeps trying to calm Romeo down. But of course, you know how well it, tells some, it goes to tell somebody to calm down, right? And you want to know who shows up just when he's doing this? Yes, it's the nurse. Romeo stops his melodrama for like half a second um, to ask if Juliet hates him for killing Tybalt. Um, and of course, like right now, Romeo is like a sobbing mess too. Like if he had mascara, it would be running. But he's like a sobbing mess on the floor, just like crying. Does Juliet hate me? And the nurse, using her awesome communication skills, she tells him to get up off the floor where he's been crying his sad, salty tears and to stop being such a girl about it. Um, so Romeo like kind of shuts up at this and, um, she, she tells him that Juliet has been saying, oh, Tibble, oh, Romeo, uh, uh. Um, but Romeo doesn't get the idea. She thinks that that means that Juliet hates him. Um, so what does he do next? You better believe it. Mm -hmm. He draws his freaking sword and says, if I can't be with Juliet, I'd rather be dead. I'm going to kill myself. <sighs> like, Romeo, I can't even right now with you. Like, I feel like he just needs to take a deep breath and take a nap. Like, he's been up for like 24 hours. Like, he hasn't gone to bed since he was at the party where he met Juliet. I feel like if he would just take a nap, all of this could feel like a lot better. And it might prevent some of his weird mood swings. Anyway... He threatens to kill himself, what's new, uh, but Friar Lawrence then steps in and also tells him to stop acting like such a girl and stop crying. Um, like, I feel like it's starting to get less helpful now. Like, the nurse already said it, you don't have to do it to Friar Lawrence, but whatever, he jumps on there instead. Um, but he does the next helpful thing. I guess he tells Romeo that, like, there's some really great things going on in your life. There's reasons to be happy. He's like, Juliet is alive. There thou art happy. Tybalt would have killed thee, but you slew Tybalt. There art thou happy too. The law that threatened death becomes thy friend and turns it to exile. There art thou happy. A pack of blessings lights upon thy back. Like basically Friar Lawrence is telling him to calm down and it'll all be okay. Like he's got a plan. He tells Romeo, like here's the plan. Can you believe it? He tells Romeo, go to Juliet tonight. Enjoy your evening together. And in the morning... I'll help you escape to Mantua. Like, that's not terrible. Mantua's only like, what, 40 miles away? That's that's not that bad. Exile can't be that bad. Um, and so he makes the plan with Romeo. I'll help you escape to Mantua. It's going to be fine. Just stop being a baby about all of it, you know? Well, finally, now that Romeo's no longer acting like a wuss, the nurse says she'll give Juliet the good news about Romeo going to meet her. But before the nurse leaves... You're going to love this. It's so sweet. She gives Romeo a ring from Juliet. It's so cute, you guys. <sighs> Romeo is like super happy and he heads off to, you know, spend the night with Juliet. So that's all the gossip I have for you right now. But we are going to have to do this again real soon. I cannot wait to tell you what Juliet's dad said and what his solution to this whole mess should be. I'm sure he's totally level-headed about it, right? Hmm. Well, enjoy your tea.